ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் டுமாரோ இஸ் தை மகம் திஸ் இஸ் தி திருநக்ஷத்திரம் டே ஆஃப் திருமழிசை ஆழ்வார் இட்ஸ் அ வெரி ஸ்பெஷல் டே ஃபார் அஸ் ஸ்ரீ வைஷ்ணவார் லெட் அஸ் என்ஜாய் ஹிஸ் லைஃப் அண்ட் குளோரிஸ் பிரீஃப்லி திருமழிசை ஆழ்வார் வாஸ் பார்ன் in tirumalisai which is also known as mahisara kshetram this is the divine abode of jagannatha perumal just like krishna who had two births first in mathura and then in gokulam in two clans first in the kshatriya clan and then in vaishya clan tirumalisai alvar also had two births he was born originally as the son of bhargavarishi and his wife when alvas was born he was just looking like a lump of flesh his mother looked at him and thought this is not good so they left alvar near some bushes in tirumalisai immediately jagannath perumal and taya pirati came there and blessed alvar and gave him a beautiful baby form subsequently alvar was located by a woodcutter he along with his wife took alvar with them and raised him as their own dear son alvar lived in this world for a very long time he was born towards the end of dwapara yuga and lived in the early times of kali yuga he lived here for 4700 years he was a great ashtanga yogi as he was blessed with divine knowledge and devotion when he was born he was not like other babies who would cry for food he was not consuming any food in the early days but was always glowing with a great radiance a old couple came to tirumalai alvar's residence hearing about his glories with great devotion they offered him milk alvar too accepted that milk looking at their devotion had some of that and gave the remnants to them they consumed that milk immediately they regained their youth and in 10 months the woman gave birth to a beautiful boy child he was named kanikannan and this kanikannan becomes to be a close disciple of tirumalisai alvar alvar desiring to establish sriman narayana's supremacy enters into many different matams learns their philosophies and establishes that 
their philosophies are not worthy in the end by the grace of pay alvar alvar gets reformed and thirumalshi alvar becomes a great devotee of sri man narayana as his life span was very lengthy there is a lot of interesting incidents in his life let us see a few of them first thirumalshi alvar spent his life in thirumalishai thiruvallikeni thiruvekka and finally in thirukudandai he was a great ashtanga yogi so he was always meditating upon bhagavan and constantly enjoying bhagavan's auspicious qualities once rudra along with his consort parvati was traveling in the sky on his rishabha as they both notice tirumadi shayalvar's divine presence on the ground parvati tells rudra that we should go and talk to him and find out what he needs rudra tells parvati that he is a devotee of sri man narayana and he will not care to ask anything from us she insisted that they both go down and have a discussion with tirumalai shayalvar agreeing with her they both got down but tirumalai shayalvar was not paying attention to them rudra goes to alvar and starts a conversation saying alvar should ask something from rudra alvar first says that he doesn't need anything from rudra but as rudra insisted alvar asks for moksha rudra says only sri man narayana can give moksha in this way the conversation keeps going and finally alvar tells rudra that he needs to send the needle into a thread instead of thread into the needle rudra becomes very angry and opens his third eye from his forehead to send great fire to destroy alvar alvar too has a divine eye in his toe he opens that and there is a huge fire fight between both of them as rudra could not tolerate the force of alvar he finally begs shriman narayana to help shriman narayana bhagavan sends huge clouds and with his potency the clouds finally put off the fire rudra asks for forgiveness from alvar says that he would never commit offense against bhagavatas and also confers a beautiful title named bhakti sara to tirumalai alvar there is an interesting incident which occurs in tiruvekka in the life of alvar when alvar was living in tiruvekka 
Kanikannan was serving Alvar. An old lady comes and performs lots of service for Alvar. Alvar becomes pleased and blesses that old lady to become youth again. She becomes a very youthful, beautiful woman and the king of the town with great desire marries her. As days go by, the king becomes old but the wife remains the same way youthfully as she was before. The king asks the secret and she says it was by Alva's mercy. And she also says if one goes through Kanigannan, Alvar will be accessible and will grant the wishes. The king summons Kanikannan to the court and asks Kanikannan to bring Alvar to his assembly. Kanikannan says that Alvar would not come anywhere other than Bhagavan's temple. The king becomes upset hearing that and he says, at least you sing my glories. With that, I will become great. Kanikannan says, I will not sing anyone other than Bhagavan Sriman Narayanan and my Alvar. The king becomes greatly angry. He says, you can no longer live in our country. You have to leave this place. Kanikannan immediately goes to Alvar and tells Alvar that he is leaving the town. Alvar says, as you are going, I will also come along with you and we will also invite Perumal along with us. Perumal too follows Kanikannan and Alvar. As soon as they all left the town, the town becomes dark. The king comes to know about his mistake and immediately goes behind Kanikannan, Alvar and Perumal and prays to Kanikannan to return to his town. Kanikannan returns followed by Alvar and Perumal too. It is because of this reason, this Perumal in Tiruvekka is known as Swannavannam Saida Perumal or Yadoktakari Perumal, one who does fulfill the desires of his disciples, his followers. After a while, he travels to Tirukudandai, Kumbakonam. Tirukudandai Emperuman Aravamadan shares a great special affection for Tirumansi Alvar. Aram the Perumal is known as Aram the Alvar and Tirumadisai Alvar is known as Tirumadisai Piran. Here Perumal and Alvar have switched their names. Alvar throws all his prabandhams into the river Kaveri and by Bhagavan's desire, only two of them come back. They are Nan Mukan Tiruvandadi and Tiris Chandavirutam. Both are wonderful compilations of Alvar. While travelling to Tirukudandai, Alvar was also greatly recognized by Perumbuliyur Adigal, another devotee of Bhagavan. He was greatly impressed by Alvar's affection towards Emberuman. Alvar also manifests Bhagavan in his heart. 
to perumbulir adigal for him to see in this manner after spending some time in tirukkulandai performing mangala shasanam to aramudan emperman there alvar decides to ascend to paramapadam from tirukkulandai he ascends to paramapadam and remains eternally there we have seen his history his life briefly in this manner let us now see his specific greatness while the first three alvars explained the supremacy of sri man narayana it was tirumanisai alvar who categorically eliminated any doubt in considering anybody else as the supreme lord he clearly established that sri man narayana is the only supreme lord and he also explained sri vaishnava lakshanam what is the real quality of sri vaishnava in nanmukan tiruvandadi saying tiruvadi tan namam marantum puram thoda mandar the sri vaishnavas are those who would never ever worship any other devata they will only worship sri man narayana and his own devotees adigimanavar perman nayanar gives a special title to tirumalai alvar he is hailing tirumalai alvar as urailidadavar urailidadavar means one who never puts the sword in its pouch tirumalai alvar is not seen having any sword with him it is tirumangai alvar who has a sword in his hand but why is tirumalai alvar said to be having this sword in his hand it is because he destroys all the arguments of all the opposing camps so easily with his ability to talk thus alvar is explained here as urailidadavar which means one who never ever fails to protect bhagavan and his devotees manavala mamunigal brings out the glories of tirumalai alvar in his upadesha ratnamalai pasuram in his pasuram he is hailing alvar to be having tuyamadi very pure gnanam or knowledge this is because he had clear vision and purity in his thought of not mixing any other devata in the worship of bhagavan and ensured that everyone followed that principle mamunigal is also glorifying alvar saying that alvar would be greatly cherished and hailed by those who are engaged in penance as alvar is a rishi putra son of a rishi naturally those who are engaged in performing penance will have attachment towards alvar further it is also explained that tavam means tapasya and sharanagati is highlighted in shastram as the highest penance so for sri vaishnavas who are sharanagatas alvar is the object of our glorification we will naturally engage in glorifying tirumalai alvar 
in this manner we have seen the life and greatness glories of tirumal shayalvar let us all meditate upon the divine feet of tirumal shayalvar alvar emberumana jiya tirupadigale sharanam jiya tirupadigale sharanam please download our koil k o y i l app from google play store or apple app store to listen to or download upanyasams like these our website portal is k o y i l .org koil .org